everyone, my video today is my March beauty and cosmetic favourites. Okay, this is my second favourites video, um, apart from my last one was I weren't talking in it, it was just like a music playing in the background. But this one is going to be a talking video, so I can describe the products a bit more. Okay, so I'll start with eye products. Now, I have been loving the Special Eyes... Position Eyeliner Pencil by Rimmel. Now it's not the scandalised one, I think it's like £3 cheaper. But I just really like it. I mean, I don't really use eyeliner that much and I'm not that good at putting it on. But I find this um, tip, it's just a really nice tip. It's not that like pointy at the minute, but if I sharpen it will be fine. And it doesn't last the whole day like it does fade into like a grey but I like it so yeah. My other eye product I've been loving this month is a Beauty UK eyeshadow collection pa palette and it's called Eyeshadow Collection Naked and it's got a 7 in the corner. I don't know if that's the brand or what but it's like natural colours and it looks like that. And it has like a nice mirror, so if you want to look up close, it's quite a nice mirror. And now, even though I don't really use eyeshadow a lot, I do like to use like natural ones to give my eyelids a bit of colour. In the last month, I've been finding that these colours are so nice. The ones I've been loving most, you might not be able to see that well, is just this one here. And then that one to put in the corners. That's it about that. The lip products I've been loving this month, I have got two again. The first one I will start with the Mint Juleps Lip Scrub by Lush. And it says, mint chocolate without the chip is what you get with this tasty sugar lip buffer. And it looks like that. Now this was in my haul video, so I haven't had that long to use it. I've had about a week to use it. And ever since I've been using it, I put it on in the morning, about midday, and then before I go to bed, and it leaves my lips so smooth, and it doesn't take the dry skin off, but it smooths it down, so you can put, like, lip balms on, and it was £5.50, but I haven't seen any other place do anything like it, and I really like it, and, um, I don't know why everyone's so obsessed with the bubble gum, because I don't like that smell at all, whereas this mint chocolate chip smells exactly like mint chocolate chip ice cream, and it just smells so nice. But then I suppose depends on what taste you want on your lips, I suppose. Okay, so the other lip product I've been loving this month is the Maybelline New York Baby Lips Peach Kiss. Okay, so this is my newest addition to my Baby Lips collection. And it's just a really nice colour. It doesn't have that much pigment. But it is like a light shimmery pink colour. And yeah, I really love it because I don't like a lot of colour on my lips. But this just gives a really nice finish. And it is such a nice smell. And it's only £3, so for the price, I think it's quite good. Now this month, I've been loving a new concealer. And it is the... Well, all the writings of off, so I don't know what it's exactly called. But it is the collection 2000 Last and Perfection, I think, and it's in Fair One, so it looks like that. Now, this is the best concealer I've tried, and this is the perfect colour for my skin. It doesn't leave full coverage, it doesn't have full coverage, like, it covers the redness, but not always all my spots. But it is the best one I've seen, and I think it's £4, about. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a new concealer, I'd recommend this one. Don't get the Wake Me Up one because I got recommended that and I bought it and I did love it for like four months because I didn't have a lot of spots and redness at the time and then as soon as I did start to get loads of spots again I noticed it weren't working and then like all YouTubers were talking about this and I bought it and I can understand why everyone loves it. So yeah. Hey like makeup accessory I've been loving this month, uh, month is a Super Drugs Basics foundation brush. Now, it's got quite a nice tip, and it's quite a nice shape for when you're rubbing your foundation in. Now, I normally use my hands to rub my foundation in, but I thought I'd try a brush and see what's better. Now, I think using your hands, you can, like, rub it in more precisely, and it mixes better. 
but with a brush it le leaves a more nicer effect I suppose um but I do love this brush it was four pound I think so it's like six quid cheaper than real techniques or eco tools it's a lot cheaper um and I, I think it's really good I mean it, it's not the best but it will do considering I don't wear foundation much so yeah I've been loving some face wipes this month and quite a few months before it's the Nivea range but um, this month I have been using the different ones which are the dry and sensitive skin ones and as you can see I've all run out of them so I need to repurchase them, uh, repurchase them. Now um, the only difference between these ones and the original and the green packet ones which I don't know what the difference is in them either but it's just like leaves has like a moisturising effect and I do like this because as I have quite dry skin it does help the skin better I suppose but they are I don't know how much I know in Boots and Super Duty they're £3 but I get them from Asda which I think they are 2 for £2 pound. so it is a good price so these are definitely the best face wipes I've used but one bad thing about this is um, the like, package doesn't really let like, stick down and they can dry out quite fast so like the odd one on the top might be dry that's the only bad point about it I suppose I have definitely been loving Nivea products this month I've definitely found a lot of new ones and just been loving them and the other Nivea products I've got is the Daily Essentials Oil Free Moisturising Day Cream Oily and Combination Skin now this this was in one of my hauls I can't remember quite which one but I needed a new moisturiser as I ran out of my L'Oreal one and it was too expensive so I was watching some videos, I just typed in moisturise and recommend into YouTube and it came up with like um, five cheap drugstore ones and one of them was this and I didn't know if it was going to be that good because it was only £2 but oh my god it is amazing. It's really thin and quite jelly which is good for my skin because I've got dry skin it um, smooths in a lot better, it blends in and I really love it and I've definitely been having less dry skin since using this and I do like it better than L'Oreal one and it's £16 cheaper so if you're looking for a new moisturiser again I'd recommend this. The last Nivea product I've been using and loving this month is the anti perspirant Invisible for Black and White White Mark Protection Pure. Now I also have talked about this in another haul but it just looks like this. Now I don't know what the difference is between like the blue one and the pink one. I think one of the, this one's pure, I don't know what the pink one is, but I don't know if there's any difference. But this is definitely the best deodorant I have ever tried. Um, it just, normally like for a deodorant I'd have to use it like midday and in the morning, but with this one I just have to use it in the morning because it's so good, it lasts so well. And also this dries really fast, which I find some deodorants don't. And it's just really nice. Um, so if you're looking for new deodorant, I would recommend this one. I It was a pound when I bought it, but I think at the minute it's probably two pounds or something. But, yeah, I definitely have been liking it. The body spray I've been loving this month is the Ted Baker Body Wear Fragrance Body Spray. I don't know what the like collection's called, but it looks like this. And I have actually only been using this for a week. Now I got like a collection of Ted Baker stuff like two years ago. And I was having to sort out when I found this. And I remembered how much I loved it. The smells. So nice. Like I don't even have to spray it to smell it. It just smells so nice. And I don't know how much it was because I got it for a Christmas present. But I would recommend getting this. I don't as such use this as a body spray. I do more use this as a perfume. Because I do think it's quite a strong smell. But it is one of the nicest smells I think I've ever smelled. My last two products are both bath and shower products, I suppose. So one of them is the Soap and Glory Flake Away Sea Butter, Sugar and Peach Sea Body Polish. So it's like a body scrub and I'll show you inside. It might not look the nicest, but it smells absolutely amazing. 
I've just been loving the smell of everything I've been using this month by the sounds of what I've been saying through this video. I did get this at Christmas time as a Christmas present, but I it was like got stored away and I forgot about it and um I got it out I suppose about mid February. I've been using it ever since and it is just I haven't tried any of the body scrubs but I absolutely love this. So I think once I've used this I will probably buy a big tub. So yeah. Now my last product um I've been loving this month is the Body Shop Coconut Shower Cream. I just like that. Now I wouldn't say there's anything special about this. It was um four pound and I'm starting to maybe regret buying it because um it does have like a really nice coconut smell. I know there's like coconut smells like coconut but it does vary but what annoys me is I know it's a shower cream and it does like leave a nice um after smell and it does just makes me feel even fresher just a lovely smell um it doesn't leave bubbles in your bath and I know it's not a bubble bath but I thought being body shop it might use um leave bubbles but it doesn't that's the only disappointment I've got about it Apart from that, it's good, but I do know you can get the Enspa Coconut Shower Cream and Body um, and Bubble Bath because my mum has it and it's like double the size and it's £1 cheaper. So I wouldn't like necessarily, necessarily, I can't say the word, but you know what I mean, recommend this because it's not the best compared to other stuff but I have been loving it so that's why it's in my favourites video. Okay so that's it for my favourite video this month. I hope you liked it as I didn't know how well this was going to go. It might go on for a long time but oh well it's a video so yeah. Okay thanks for watching remember to like the video and subscribe. Bye!